Hi friends, welcome to another video. Rachel here from Journal with Ray. And in this video, I'm going to be setting up a weekly spread for the month of January 2020. This is going to be the week of the 20th through the 26th. I do do a Monday start, so just keep an eye out for that in case you do a Sunday start. If you want to follow along, just modify it to fit your preferred schedule. As a refresher, my January theme is feminine science, all things scientific and STEM related with a whimsical feminine twist. I had a general idea of what I wanted to do for this weekly spread, but I didn't pre-plan it before filming. Usually I pre-plan all of my spreads before getting on camera, but I decided to show you what my actual process looks like. You just watch me count out my spaces to make sure that everything is even between each day of the week. My boxes ended up being a square 13 by 13 boxes or dots, however you like to count it. When it comes to laying out my decorations for my spreads, I like to make sure that one section, one corner of the spread isn't dominating the visual focus. So I tend to put decorations on opposite ends of the page. For this one, I'm starting in the bottom left hand corner and then my other decorations will be in the top right hand corner. The photo I just pasted down is a copyright free photo from Unsplash. As a reminder, I switched to Unsplash over for my December pages and I absolutely love it. And there's no copyright, no royalties associated with them. They're free to use however you want. And I think that's a great thing about Unsplash. Definitely use Unsplash for your journal photos instead of Pinterest because you don't know what kind of rights are attached to those Pinterest photos. I'll attach a link to Unsplash in my description box so you can make your own account and start making collections of different photos that you enjoy. I learned about Unsplash from Lily at LilyNZST on Instagram and actually I'm using one of her stickers right now, this text sticker. It's really cute and I love it a bunch. I will link her Instagram in the description box as well so you can check her out because she has a ton of great information about Unsplash as well as other things like how to ask for paid collaborations and what to do if someone steals your artwork. Speaking of Instagram, the sticker I am putting down right now is from my friend Maddie at Whiskey Mug on Instagram. This is a transparent sticker of a photo that she traced and I think it's a really cool idea and I haven't really seen that before and so it's really cute and I love it. And the current sticker I'm pasting down is from Flex Studying and her Etsy shop is called Lexi's Desk. I really love combining different elements in my bullet journal, so I'm using stickers right now and then soon I'm going to use washi tape to make a banner. I love using washi tape in this different way and I think it adds a great deal of visual interest to the page as well. I didn't struggle as much picking out stickers for the spread like I did on my February plan with me, but this sticker gave me a hard time and I decided not to use it. I wish I had because it's really cute, but maybe next week. For this week, I am using my dot plus lettering header style. I got this layout idea from Maryberry Studio on Instagram, but I've been using it for about two months and I've really made it my own. Here I'm using the gray mild liner and I will be lettering the headers with my Tombow Fun Nosuke soft tip marker. I am making eight dots instead of seven because I like having one for each day of the week and then I also like to have a spot to write down things for next week. Each of these dots has a two dot slash box diameter, so there's two down and two across. I really love how these dots look on the page. They just look like they go together so well and it makes me really happy. Let me know if you guys have any layouts like that that give you that same warm fuzzy feeling when you see them all finished. All right, as promised, here I am lettering the days of the week with my Tombow Fun Nosuke Soft Tip Brush Pen. I love this brush pen and I love lettering with it. This is my normal cursive lettering. I've adapted it from like my standard ballpoint pen to make it prettier for lettering with a marker, but I think it turns out really cute and I really love doing this flourish on the D like this. Oh, so good. The way I letter the TH on Thursday is also something new. I think the flourish looks really cool and it's really easy to connect the T and the H this way because my old way of doing it was actually really difficult. So I think this is a good way for me to start doing it from now on. All right, here I am actually making the fabled washi ribbon. I didn't realize it was so much later in the video when I mentioned it earlier, but I hope it gave you something to look forward to. Here I am just measuring out how long I want the ribbon to be and then giving it a clean edge on both sides before placing it on the page. 
Using washi tape this way is definitely something I'd like to do more of moving into February. I've been doing it off and on for a while, but I think it's a really cute technique for washi tape and I definitely want to do it more. Something I really like to do more in my bullet journal is write more personal things down. As I've become more popular on Instagram, I've started hiding things. Not like hiding, that's a bad way to put it. But like I've been writing less personal things because I know I'm going to post it, even though I do blur my personal information. But I am coming back to the fact that this bullet journal is for me and not for my audience. And so I think later today I'm going to make an exam and class tracker kind of spread, kind of laying out in the rest of my semester. I don't know if I'll post it. I probably won't, but it'll just be for me. But that's something I'd like to get better at, is just using my bullet journal for me and not for my followers. I think creating in general is something that a lot of people struggle with, especially once they start getting an audience, they want to please that audience. But I think I really need to go back to basics and think, why am I using a bullet journal? Why does it make me happy? How does it help me? And start going back to those roots. I think I did that in my February setup where I went back to using a habit tracker a little bit. I haven't used one for a couple months now and I thought maybe you guys would think I'm a hypocrite or something for using one again after saying I didn't want to use one. But that's stupid. It's my bullet journal and I'm going to use it if I think it would help. So there! That's something I'm really working on understanding and relearning. So if you're struggling with your bullet journal, it's okay. Use it for you, don't use it for anyone else. In the end, you're the one who's using those spreads and you're the one who has to be able to get the productivity and joy out of it. I'll get off my soapbox now, but I thought that was really important to mention while you're watching me make this spread. As a reminder, if you like any stickers or stationery I'm using in my spreads, I do my best to link all of them in my description box. Here I'm using a really cute jar sticker from Kelly at Together with KX, and it's just really cute and I tried matching the color to the hanging plant in the other corner. I'm finishing off this spread with a quote sticker from Lily again, and then I think I'm pretty much all set with this spread. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me put this spread together and I hope you've enjoyed my soapbox rant and just general chatting with you guys. I think the spread turned out really really cute and I hope you like it too. I'll do some up close and personal shots here in a second but otherwise that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!